Fox Sports' Jonathan Katz joins us live downtown. He's at one of about a dozen places the Royals released yesterday that could be the spot for the new stadium. Yeah, 11th and Holmes, Lauren and John is where we're at right now, known as the East Village, one of many different spots considered for a new downtown baseball stadium. But now there are more parties weighing in on what a new stadium would look like and how it would be paid for. I'm not from Kansas City, but you know, downtown downtown ballparks generally bring a lot of vibrance and and uh, you know a lot of excitement to the downtown areas. Future Missouri Senate President Pro Tem Caleb Rowden is from Columbia. He says he has not talked to any lawmakers about the Royals' push for a new stadium. I think a lot of of uh, you know information left to be determined, but um, you know we want to try to find the balance between supporting you know supporting uh, the, the the teams and and supporting you know the the institutions and entities that are doing a lot to to um, you know bring jobs and economic economic activity to Kansas City and St. Louis. Back in 2002 the Cardinals, St. Louis, the county and the state agreed to finance a new ballpark for the Cardinals. For me just way too early to know exactly what the logistics are. If they are interested in having a conversation about moving the stadiums with no increased cost to the taxpayers, that's great. I don't believe that necessarily will be what the long-term item is. Mayor Quentin Lucas was not able to attend Tuesday night's meeting, but says if the team is interested in asking the state and city for money, along with Jackson County taxpayers, he says there will be a lot more questions of the team. I'm going to wait till they answer a whole heck of a lot of them before, you know, we're stepping in on what the city is or is not doing. But now, another one of the questions would be if the state ponies up money for the Royals, what would they do for the Chiefs? Of course, their lease ends at the beginning of 2031 as well over at the Truman Sports Complex. More on that part of our story coming up for you tonight on Fox 4 News at 6. We're live downtown. I'm Jonathan Katz, Fox 4, working for you.